Hello everyone, welcome to the Sagittarius New Love Reading. So for the overall energy that we're getting from the Monology deck, we have a fiery climax <laughs> approaches. Well, is that literal, Donna, or is it figurative? Is it metaphorical? <laughs> so, anyway, I'll leave that to each of you to decide whether that fiery climax is on the Monday or in the imagination or on the 5D. Okay, so let's see what we have here for you, Sagittarius. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, I'm so glad you're here with me today. In the recent past, the lover's card, Sag, look at you. That is beautiful energy. You might have met somebody. Your overall energy, though, is that you're letting people compete for you. Look at that beautiful night of cups. Okay. So let's see. Your current, your in the recent past, you look as though you've met somebody who you think is the one. Soulmate energy, Gemini energy. We have the King of Pentacles. Ooh, you may have a Taurus very successful business person coming in, someone who's very loyal to you. The dogs always represent loyalty. This is a very passionate person. This person is someone who is self-made, somebody who is very um, down to earth, grounded. They know what to do. They know how to make things successful. They know how to get the job done and to get to the goalpost. I love that energy. In the, the way that you're seeing yourself right now is that you have walked away in the recent past from someone that I believe probably was caused a lot of turmoil. Somebody who was argumentative, somebody who was sort of ego driven, and it looks as though you walked away from that energy. Good for you. Right now, you have decided to keep your options open. You are not going to make any final uh, you know, decisions about your love life, even if you've met this person that you like very much. You are very much in this thoughtful energy. Some of you are fantasizing about a lover some of the time. And with this fiery climax and the lover's card, I think we know what the answer to that is. In your heart space, how do you feel? Sagittarius, you have shown up in your reading. You feel as though you're out to have fun, a good time. You just want want to enjoy passion, uh, a lot of entertainment, a lot of different people. Again, you are not going to make a decision and you're not going to settle on one person at the present time. The way you see your love life going forward is eat, drink, be merry. I'm going to have fun. You know, let the chips fall where they may. So you've really left your a lot of unhappiness behind and you're moving into this very joyful, jubilant, fun energy and it is very gratifying this is also wish fulfillment so you look as though you're you you know what you want long term which is somebody very loyal that person is coming in but in the meantime until the situation really stabilizes until you feel as though you can trust it you're going to keep your options open here you are sad again throwing caution to the winds very playful energy fun energy very youthful energy you know getting out going doing things just absolutely adoring uh, life and love and feeling like you know it's just summertime it's summer love it's you know don't don't uh, make any overly big plans eight of swords is spirit telling you or advising you to not take any actions I mean to not go towards any one person so spirit is very much behind you self-imposed restriction. Don't bite off more than you can chew in terms of anything complicated. And we see you, you know, stay playful, you know, keep it easy breezy and don't get all up in your head here, the Eight of Swords. Hold back, uh, use good judgment is basically what spirit is telling you and shouldn't we always your outcome card I love it the Capricorn Queen you are once again we have the Queen of Pentacles the King of Pentacles so you look like you have a divine partnership coming in Sagittarius beautiful energy the Capricorn energy is very compatible with you you know Sag dreams the big dream and Capricorn steps in to fill in the shoes and do the work so it's fantastic. It looks like you're going to, by the week's end, have a good idea who your King of Pentacles is, and you're not going to focus, you know, too much on anything other than enjoying yourself 
and getting ready for something for the future. So why do we have the Five of Wands? What is this turmoil about? Oh, it was about an ending. Okay. So it does look like you let somebody go, and good for you, you know? You let somebody go. You let a circumstance go that was not fulfilling. You might have been dealing with a player energy also because the walk away is here. Um, we also see you emerging into this joyful energy. So let's see why we have the Lover's card here. The Lover's card is always a choice. <gasps> beautiful, Cancerian, nurturing energy, a beautiful, nurturing, very kind of almost quiet a relationship. It's almost as though you don't expect this anything from this relationship. You know, you're just out having fun, and when you least suspect it, Sagittarius, look at what fell on the floor. I have these cards that fell for clarifiers, and we have the Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups with the um, High Priestess is very strong Cancerian energy. Cancerian energy with Gemini energy makes so much sense because uh, Cancer is the second house to Gemini. And the second house is where we find our value. It's where you find the King of Pentacles. You know, it's powerful energy. It's really about having good self-esteem and really trusting yourself. The King of Swords energy. So you have a King of Swords coming in also who's going to compete with the King of Pentacles. The King of... Now, I would like to say that when I look at careers, because everybody always likes to know what people do for a living, you're looking at two very different career types here. You're looking at the King of Pentacles, who's usually very earthbound, very... This is oftentimes someone who owns a construction company or somebody who is a finance expert or somebody who deals with banking, somebody who deals with real estate. Tangible goods is what you think of. This is a person who is very grounded in the the absolute tangible, the things you can touch, feel, and smell. When we look at the King of Swords now, we're looking at somebody who is very detached. They are required to be detached to do their jobs. And so we get careers like a surgeon, an anesthesiologist, somebody who uses needles or knives, right? We look at soldiers, needles and knives, right? Uh, we look at engineers who have a piercing intellect to look into and cut through the problems of technology who are the problem solvers of the Zodiac. We're looking at the King of Swords. We look at and we think about people who would do investigative journalism, somebody who is a wordsmith, somebody who is able to look at things like a judge, you know, a judge, it could be a lawyer, but it's definitely somebody who has to detach their emotions from their job to do it properly. So beautiful energy, two choices there. Why do we have the Eight of Cups? Ooh, you are invested. So you've walked away from something in the past, yeah, so that you can go to something in which you can invest, okay? So nice energy. Ace of Coins energy. Why else do we have the Ace of Coins? Four of Cups. So, you know, you're totally prepared for the fact that you don't necessarily expect to find love where you, you know, you might seek love here, but love might be up behind you. So that is part of your reading that you should keep in mind, that the love may not be in the exact place you expect to find it. It's hanging out very close to you, though, Sagittarius. So why do we have the Seven of Cups here for you? The Aries Emperor. Okay, so you have just a whole slate of people who are vying for your attention. Five of Wands, people are competing. So now we have the Aries, the Emperor. The Emperor oftentimes is someone who enforces the law or the rules of society. Uh, usually somebody who's at the top of their game. Those are the CEOs, the CFOs, the, you know, the people who really have a lot of power that they wield. But let tell us something more about this Emperor. So this Emperor is also a person who has been disappointed in love. They're ready to mingle, they're ready to enjoy themselves, and they have closed out a cycle also. Nice. So you are, even though you're not planning on making a decision right away, it looks as though you may meet somebody very significant. You know, you go into the dating situation skeptical, sort of with some player energy, and yet, look at this, you are attracting quality people, Sagittarius. 
six of cups energy somebody that feels like home to you whether you've known them a long time or not somebody who just it's you know it could be a, a lover from childhood or somebody who you've known a long time who's coming forth and professing their love six of cups energy scorpio energy the two of wands you're going to have to make a choice boy you have just a plethora of people on the table to choose from. Sagittarius, so you need to know what you want. You need to be really sure of what you want to make yourself happy. Look at this, Ace of Wands. Well, you want passion, you want laughter, you want someone who's loyal, you also want someone who's a best friend to you. The energy is that, you know, you're a little bit skeptical with the Four of Cups. You know, when the hand of God comes out, you're going to be like, yeah, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if this is really the hand of God, Donna. I'm really, I just don't know if this is the one. And it's okay because you are, you're going to use your intuition with that High Priestess card, the Eight of Cups. So you are going to walk away from somebody who has player energy, who keeps you as an option, who's all about the drink and the be merry. And so you're not going to settle for just that. While you thought that you might jump into the dating game and be a little bit, you know, a little bit, um, like, you know, a little player energy for yourself, uh, you're really not going, that's not what you want. That's what I'm seeing here. You might tell yourself, yeah, I'll just go out and play the field, and, but I don't see that as being the case here. It doesn't balance right with you. Justice card, Libra energy, beautiful, staying balanced, really staying focused on what you want. You could be attracting, again, a judge, a lawyer, somebody who deals with the law, uh, but we see you keeping your balance and your joyfulness. What is the hidden risk you're taking. Ooh, throw caution to the winds. Be careful, Sagittarius. You've got Capricorn energy here. Don't get tied down too quickly. It, you know, you might throw caution to the winds and jump into a relationship before you're ready or with the wrong person. So be sure that whoever you're dealing with is not manipulative because this person is hidden. They don't look like this on the outside. They don't look like they're very controlling. But at the end of the day, it's their way or the highway. So be very careful of that energy as you, you know, as you're stepping into your new love. And definitely hold back until you get to know people better. Nine of Cups. Your wish fulfillment's here. But Spirit is saying, you know, in this Nine of Cups, you see somebody leaping into the air with joy. Spirit is advising. Be happy. Enjoy yourself. But... Keep your own counsel. Don't get carried away here. That Nine of Cups energy is yes, of course you should have your happiness. But don't get sold on, you know, on a devil by accident. You could easily end up in that energy right now. Sagittarius, here you are. You're reading again with the beautiful Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Good for you. So you're going to be very practical, very grounded. You are willing to make, uh, you know, you're willing to balance things out. For some of you, you may want a reconciliation or somebody who has taken too long to come to you may speed up the journey. So we get this beautiful energy of stability, of love, of happiness, of joy, of abundance. You're getting a beautiful reading for loving somebody truly, for finding love where you least expect it. Now we have the Empress and the Emperor. Uh, the Empress and the Emperor is under that deck. You have a divine partner coming in, Sagittarius. This is so exciting. Let's see what the Shaman's Dream Oracle has for advice for you at this time. How can you make things better? We know that you're going to have a fiery climax, so <laughs> keep the fire extinguishers and the smoke detectors uh, up to date, my friends. Keep them up to date. You're going to have a good, a good month. Vanishing Mirror, Ego Sublimation, beautiful message. Do not let your ego write checks your body can't cash. So don't get caught up in how you think sh someone should treat you. Get very caught up in who you really are and does it feel authentic. Don't worry about if somebody's playing games, it has nothing to do with you. Just make the choice in a very grounded way to uh, to really 
look for the quality person. You have a lot of people coming in, Sag. Thanks again for joining me. It's been a delight having you here. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.